combining vintage Hollywood with Disney's latest and greatest franchises, Disney's Hollywood Studios boasts an unmatched roster of flagship attractions, from the playful world of Andy's backyard to the heart-pounding battle against the First Order, there's a slice of Hollywood for everyone to enjoy. Hi, I'm the Frugal Brit and in this video I'll be your guide through all rides and attractions that Disney's Hollywood Studios 2024 has to offer. Without further ado, let's dive in. When entering the park, guests are greeted by a stunning replica of the Pan Pacific Auditorium, a classic Los Angeles landmark serving as the park's main gate, which takes you through to Hollywood Boulevard, one of seven different lands located within the park, a palm-lined thoroughfare inspired by Hollywood's golden age. This bustling street is home to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, a family-friendly trackless dark ride located within the famous Grauman's Chinese Theatre. Inside, guests are treated by a charming pre-show story which revolves around Mickey and Minnie preparing for a picnic before their day takes an unexpected turn. The ride uses state-of-the-art trackless technology, allowing for unexpected twists and turns and even dancing, seamlessly blending 2D-style animation with physical sets, 3D effects and a catchy soundtrack playing in the background, all combining for a fun experience that's both nostalgic and innovative. Next, we'll head north for our second land in the tour, which is Sunset Boulevard, themed as an idealised 1930s and 40s version of the glamorous thoroughfare of the same name in Los Angeles. On the east side is the Theatre of the Stars, which hosts the Beauty and the Beast live on stage show, a Broadway-style musical that brings the animated classic to life, condensing the movie's plot into a 25-minute performance featuring all its popular songs. At the far end of Sunset Boulevard looms the imposing Hollywood Tower Hotel, the park's main icon, and houses the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, a sci-fi-themed indoor thrill ride, the second tallest attraction in Disney World. Guests enter through the hotel's deserted grounds before stepping inside a Hollywood-era 1930s-style lobby adorned with cobwebs, dusty furniture and old belongings that highlight the hotel's haunting history. After the pre-show, guests are ushered through to the mysterious service elevators. The doors will open revealing a dimly lit corridor complete with eerie ghosts of past passengers who mysteriously vanished. Moments later, the elevators move horizontally into a maintenance room which dissolves into the fifth dimension, where without warning, the elevator suddenly plummets multiple stories in a series of stomach-churning randomised drops, with riders briefly treated to views of the park. The elevators eventually retreating to the hotel basement where Rod Sterling's voice bids you farewell. Disney Imagineering at its finest, easily one of my top three favourites at Disney World. Around the corner is the rock and roller coaster starring Aerosmith, crowned by its giant guitar exterior. You'll be led into Aerosmith's recording studio, where you'll be invited to attend their evening show and picked up in a super stretched limo that serves as your coaster ride vehicle. Once aboard, you're catapulted from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds, launching into the Los Angeles night through a series of high speed loops, corkscrews, and turns. The experience amplified by a specially designed sound system. The ride is unfortunately scheduled for a potentially lengthy closure for refurbishment any day now, many speculating that Disney is looking to retheme the attraction. Adjacent to Rock and Roller Coaster is the Sunset Showcase Theatre, which features the Lightning McQueen Racing Academy show based on the Cars franchise, where Mr. McQueen takes centre stage as a full-size animatronic, later interrupted by his rival Hicks, who hacks into the simulator. To the east of Tower of Terror is the Hollywood Hills Amphitheatre, which is home to the Fantasmic Nighttime Spectacular, a show that centres around Mickey Mouse's imagination unfolding on a giant stage, with water screens projecting animations, lasers cutting through the mist, and fireworks illuminating the sky. The climax is a battle between Mickey and the forces of evil, leading to a grand finale that celebrates the power of imagination. Hugely popular show, I recommend arriving at least 30 minutes before the show officially starts. Heading back towards the centre of the park, we have the animation courtyard attached to the centre stage. Many years ago, it was an active production studio, symbolised by its studio arch entrance. Today, it features three minor attractions. We'll start with the Star Wars launch bay, a modest celebration of the Star Wars saga, where guests can immerse themselves in a museum-like setting filled with props, models and costumes from the films. Visitors also have the chance to encounter characters for photo ops. Next, we have the Disney Junior Dance Party, a high-energy live show where young guests can sing and dance along with their favourite Disney Junior stars, some of which you'll be able to interact with inside the courtyard. Before the pandemic, guests could watch the Voyage of the Little Mermaid show, however it was very recently confirmed that it's taken its final bow to make way for a fully reimagined Little Mermaid show set to debut in fall 2024. Then there's the Walt Disney Presents walkthrough exhibit, offering guests a journey through Disney's rich history with a treasure trove of memorabilia, including sketches, photos and storyboards that shape the Disney empire. Guests are also treated to a short film narrated by Julie Andrews, which chronicles Walt's journey. Additionally, there's an aerial meet and greet opportunity in a setting inspired by her undersea kingdom. The next land to cover is Toy Story Land, located in between Animation Courtyard and Galaxy's Edge. 
theme to the playful world of Pixar's most famous franchise, designed to make visitors feel as though they've been shrunk down to the size of a toy, exploring Andy's backyard with Woody, Buzz and the rest of the Toy Story gang. The park's newest table service restaurant is Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, decor inspired by Andy's playroom, offering a colourful backdrop to a family-style menu of barbecue cuisine. The attraction that predates Toy Story Land is Toy Story Mania, an interactive 4D attraction inspired by classic carnival games. After travelling through its playful queue, you'll don a pair of 3D glasses and board a ride vehicle that takes you through various game booths fitted with spring action shooters to hit targets and rack up points. Each game with a different theme and set of challenges, with harder to hit targets earning higher scores, which are tallied up at the end to determine the winner. The main headliner for Toy Story Land is the Slinky Dog Dash Outdoor Roller Coaster. The backstory is that Andy has built a coaster in his backyard using Slinky as the ride vehicle. After boarding, riders are launched up a hill and past oversized toys dotted around the track's various hills and turns. Slinky later slows down through a block tunnel where a countdown begins for its main launch through a series of go rings at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, which takes riders to its next signature element, a series of bunny hills to mimic the movements of a Slinky, followed by an intense helix. The conclusion of the ride takes you over to Wheezy, the singing penguin, serenading you with You've Got a Friend in Me. The remaining attraction in Toy Story Land is Alien Swirling Saucers, themed around the Toy Story aliens and their fascination with the claw, and offers guests the chance to be swirled around by aliens. Over on the opposite side of the park, next to Hollywood Boulevard, is the Echo Lake Land, which contains a lake serving as tribute to the real-life counterpart in California, containing a huge Gertie the Dinosaur structure, one of the first popular animated characters. Speaking of characters, Echo Lake is filled with meet and greet opportunities. You have the Hollywood and Vine Character Buffet Restaurant, hosted by Minnie and Friends. You can meet Olaf, the lovable snowman living in his summer dream at Celebrity Spotlight. Over towards ABC Commissary, you have the Red Carpet Dreams, the venue for meeting Mickey and Minnie Mouse, with guests feeling like they're visiting Hollywood stars backstage on set. Opposite Red Carpet Dreams, there's a sci-fi dining theatre, and whilst there's no characters here, guests are transported to a 1950s drive-in movie theatre, complete with car-shaped booths and a screen showing retro TV clips. Moving on to the attractions, we'll start with the Frozen sing-along celebration located inside the Hyperion Theatre and is hosted by Arendelle's Royal Historians who present a retelling of the Frozen story with a backdrop of favourite clips from the movie and opportunities to sing along with the movie's signature songs. Adjacent to the land's namesake lake is the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular, a movie stunt demonstration and action show inside a 2,000-seat theatre. The show is a dynamic homage to Steven Spielberg's iconic Raiders of the Lost Ark, where the audience witnesses impressive recreations of classic scenes from the perilous Peruvian temple to the bustling streets of Cairo, culminating in Indy's narrow escape from an airfield engulfed in flames. A short walk away is the Mickey Shorts Theatre, which currently features the 10-minute vacation fun cartoon showing clips from the Mickey Mouse cartoons in the same style from Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. The remaining Echo Lake attraction is Star Tours The Adventure Continues, its exterior resembling an Ewok village, complete with full Atat Walker. Inside the spaceport queue, you'll pass R2-D2 and C-3PO, working diligently on the Star Speeder 1000, as well as Captain Rex. After boarding, guests experience a turbulent trip across the galaxy, piloted by a reluctant C-3PO, featuring 50 different combinations of randomised scenes from episodes 1 to 9. And from spring 2024, the ride will receive new scenes featuring Ahsoka. Moving over to one of the park's smaller lands, we have Grand Avenue, based on contemporary Los Angeles, designed to reflect the city's lively arts district and its eclectic mix of shops and restaurants that line its streets. Its sole attraction is the Muppet Vision 3D show inside the replica Muppet Theatre. Before the main event, you'll see Gonzo and friends on overhead monitors discussing the upcoming show and theatre protocol, which is one of the best parts of the attraction. Guests are then ushered into a 584-seat theatre, with Statler and Waldorf heckling the audience. The main 3D show begins with Kermit and friends leading a tour through Muppet Studios. It incorporates 4D effects such as spraying water, floating bubbles and live performances. For our final land, we're headed to a galaxy far, far away for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, an immersive land that transports visitors to the distant planet of Batu, an expansive area which is a haven for smugglers, traders and adventurers. You'll want to keep your eyes peeled for friendly encounters with Chewbacca and Rey, who are always looking to recruit allies for the Resistance. Those brave enough can banter with Kylo Ren and his stormtroopers near the Thai Echelon, a menacing ship parked in the area, emphasising the First Order's looming presence. In its bustling market, you can savour exotic meats cooked by a repurposed pod racing engine. If you remember to get a reservation, you can also head to Ogre's Canteen to sample some alien concoctions. Our first ride is the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run Flying Simulator, where guests will see a life-size Millennium Falcon parked outside the spaceport beneath the planet's cliffs. The queue begins outside, wrapping around behind the Falcon, and continues through an engine room before taking you over to the command centre. 
Guests will begin their experience by loading into the cockpit of the Falcon as part of a six-person crew, with each player assigned the role of pilot, gunner or engineer. Your mission is to steal precious cargo from the first order to sell on the black market, and your cockpit is filled with 200 buttons and controls to help get the job done, with player performances affecting the mission's outcome. Our penultimate attraction is Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, a next-generation dark ride which remains Disney World's most popular ride. Guests will take on the role of new recruits, entering the queue through a turret path and through ancient caves that house a resistance control centre before receiving their mission instructions from BB-8 and a hologram of Rey. But in a predictable twist of fate, recruits are intercepted and taken prisoner into the Star Destroyer, surrounded by stormtroopers and subjected to intense interrogation. You'll then take part in an elaborate escape against the First Order on the trackless ride vehicles. With the help of famous friends, you'll sneak under giant attacks and dodge fire from stormtroopers, hoping to avoid the wrath of Kylo Ren. The climax of the ride sees you boarding an escape pod, culminating in a heart-stopping drop back to the planet of Batu. Throughout the journey, state-of-the-art animatronics and immersive set designs bring the Star Wars universe to life, making it an unforgettable experience for rebels of all ages. Following the thrills of Galaxy's Edge, we'll head back towards the entrance for two nighttime shows projected onto the Grauman's Chinese Theatre. First, the Disney Movie Magic Show dazzles guests with a 10-minute projection display of live-action Disney classics. And then shortly after, the wonderful world of animation show takes over, enveloping the audience in a 12-minute celebration of Disney and Pixar's animated treasures, culminating with a tribute to the themes of villains, heroes, romance and family. Well, that concludes our tour of all Hollywood Studios attractions for 2024. Thank you for joining me. If you want to continue touring through the Disney World parks, I recommend these videos next.